Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. In this video, we'll learn about how to design a stair. I mean, how to draw a stair. So, uh, in this video, we'll cover a staircase modeling. And uh, if you're new to my channel or you are seeing this video at now, you can follow the previous lecture uh, about ETAPS tutorial series. So let's start. Here you are seeing that here our beam column layout and in this portion we'll draw our stair and this is our stair dimension so here we're seeing that uh, this landing are 3 feet 6 inch and width of that stair is 3 feet 6 inch and also there have a gap between two stair is 6 inch and there have the approach landing 4 feet 6 inch and now we'll draw that in e taps and uh, you can see the previous video where I have uh, discussed a step by a step about e taps tutorial so at first we have to open e taps and uh, for any question or any complaint or for anything you can contact to me anytime here are it apps so we'll open our previous model Here are previous model and um, in previous model I have discussed with you that how can we um, draw that beam column slab and in this lecture I will cover that how to we draw a stair so for that first of all go here a story to apply okay and then we just select that point for our work purpose because if we select that like that way here we have selected again I'm telling you that just left click here and click that and uh, it will be copy then uh, we'll just click here in a open place right click and show selected object only I mean we have selected that object and it will only it will be visible sorry uh, for that we have to done one thing there for all the story sorry if you click, click here clear select all the story all the story then right click show selected object only you are seeing that our other object have been hidden and then only this, that portion available here in that portion according to our layout in this portion we'll draw a stair so here uh, make 3d 3d and you are seeing here this is our 3 plan and uh, maybe will be confused here because uh, this portion are not connected here uh, here that is connected but also here it is connected but also here but in this column it is not connected to that point it is uh, not fact because uh, if we see in our beam column layout the center point of column was not in the center point of 
I mean cross sectional point of beam but for that that was the center point of column was uh, center point of beam I mean this is the eccentric column if you see it in 3d and also extrude format it will be see that it's okay just because of the eccentric column it's showing that it have some displacement from that point so nothing to worry about that so first of all we have to draw slab I mean that to landing landing slab that's that slab and that slab so first of all we'll work for that portion as from here we're seeing that uh, here uh, this is the starting and this is the ending so th that will be the middle middle portion middle landing and it will be the up and down landing I mean uh, from it as the hair will be the down and hair will be the up and uh, in that middle portion in that middle portion it will be the middle landing so for that first of all we'll click here on a story then select that and also select that and after that we'll divide that frame at, I mean column in two portion to find out the middle point of that column so go here uh, here you can do that I mean uh, it will be very easy from here edit frame divide frame so from there have different option but we will divide our frame into two sections so give her two and apply you are seeing that here have a joint and here have a joint so after that we have to draw some object point I mean here you're seeing that uh, we have to draw that point and that point and how can we draw that point we'll draw just only slab here and uh, here we'll find a beam and uh, there will be a slab so first of all give the beam click here draw beam and here our beam size is 10 into 18 click here and also click here right click here is our beam and uh, from that beam we'll draw slab but uh, to draw slab we need four point so how we'll draw that four point so from here we'll take object point and from here we all also take object point click here then go draw and draw joint object draw joint object so click here and here you are seeing that plan offset x plan offset y plan offset z so in which direction we want to take offset so as uh, here we are seeing that this will from AutoCAD if you see that uh, we have to draw a point here so this is the point according to y axis this is the point according to y axis so if we uh, here this is the y axis so if we draw according to y axis it will be plus and if we draw according to uh, the previous side or here if we want to draw that side it will be plus and if we want to draw that side it will be minus so we'll give here first of all minus and uh, in how distance we'll draw our object point 3 feet 6 inches so 3 feet 6 inches means there we have to provide that value in inch so click here 3 into 12 plus 6 42 so 42 give her minus 42 minus 42 then click here you're seeing that uh, find a point here 
and also click here so also find a point here this is our four point where we'll draw slab so click here obviously you have to take that option click here select our slab this is our slab slab and then first of all click any point first of all I'm going to click here then click here then click here then click here and then click here this is our slab we have found our desert slab and again we have to draw slab first here one and here one and top top point on and then one so for draw slab here similarly we have to take the object joint point like that point and that point so mm, here it was the, the reverse direction of y here that was the reverse direction of y but now is the according to the y direction so similarly but uh, one thing you have to follow that there have four feet six inches there has three feet six inches they have four feet six inches so again we'll calculate that first of all go draw joint object and uh, go here with that at 12 54 I mean 4 into 12 plus 6 54 inch so give her 54 inch and uh, there have a quotient from that point will take our uh, offset or that point we have to take from that point because uh, our slab will be a start from the center point of beam so from that point we have found our offset point here also from that point we have found our offset from offset here and also in top we'll draw that here and also from that here our offset point so like previous we'll draw our slab click here slab select our slab uh, here a straight line and click here then click here then click here then click here carefully and also click here. this is our slab again click here click here click that point and carefully click that point and that point this is our slab we have drawer up down and middle landing I mean landing slab and then we'll draw inclined ester for that we have need that point to that point and that point so how will draw that point uh, this is the this is according to x direction if we see in etaps this is according to x direction so we have to take the reference point in x direction and also one here so first of all we'll go draw object joint point and here in x direction will give our value now how much here from that point to that point the distance is 3 feet 6 inches 3 feet 6 inches means 42 inch so go here 42 42 inch click here 42 inch and from here also we'll click for 42 inch here is the 42 inch and uh, from that point we'll draw the opposite 42 inch so we'll give here minus 42 inch why minus 42 inch because now from that point to that point we'll take that distance now for that portion that stair portion so as we have provided minus 42 
click that point here click that point and also click that point here I found here is one point one point and here is one point one point one point another point so now we'll draw our stair go to here click draw floor then select slab size estate line and uh, which portion will up or which portion will down so from here we're seeing that that portion will go up from um, the bottom point to middle point that middle point to top point so from here select any of that select that then select that again select that again select that this is our stair from bottom to middle and then again select here then select here then select that point carefully then select that point carefully and that point carefully error also it draw slab so um, we have almost draw our stair click here we can rotate that rotate it here is our ester we have draw our ester uh, in this way we can draw our ester and in next video so first of all go here show all object here show all object and next video I will apply load on it and also replicate that for our desired stories. So thank you, thank you very much. Stay still, stay connected.